Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, September 27, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at uh, S&P 500, and as you can see, we did fall a little bit on the Friday session, but then we rallied, and that should be a very good sign. We did uh, kind of find the bottom here. Everybody was expecting this to fall apart, but this market has proven to be very resilient, even though there's a lot of bad news coming out of China. But that's probably going to hit this market in the long term, not in the short term. There's there's probably going to have be a ripple effect when the when Evergreen goes under, but uh, or it has already gone under because uh, other um, suppliers and so on will be affected by that, and definitely other companies, construction companies, will also be affected, and that will have uh, an effect on the markets. Um, and uh, at this current stage, we're not seeing that, but in the long term, we'll probably see that. So at the moment, the middle of the bullish band is uh, basically uh, what we need to break in order to go back towards um, 4,600. At the moment, we're trading at 4,456 and um, momentum looks like to the upside. If we were to drop here, that will probably go back towards the very bottom here. If this breaks, then we could be looking at the 4,250 or the 200 moving average at 4,132. Otherwise, break above the middle of the bullish band, then we could be going back towards the highs. If you look at the MACD, it is still bearish, but it is turning around. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar here. We rallied on Wednesday, on Thursday, and also pulled back on Friday, and then completely turned around and rallied. And now we're just above the, the 20 exponential moving average and underneath the 20 simple moving average. MACD is about to cross the signal line. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish. So... If we pull back, then those pullbacks will most likely be bottom too. If we pull back towards the very bottom here, that's probably where people will start to buy back in. And definitely at the 200 moving average down here at 33,341. Otherwise, it looks like this was a dip that people were waiting for to buy into. Uh, definitely not similar to the dip last September when this market just fell off a cliff, hit the 300 moving, uh, 200 moving average and then continue uh, not the 300 moving average, sorry, and then continued. It also fell towards the 200 moving average in October. So we may see a bigger fall in October. If you look at the weekly charts for most of these indices, they're getting fairly overstretched and a pullback up, uh, up uh, 10, 12% in, in the next few months, that should be expected. But at the moment, the uh, market look, still looks very bullish. And uh, if we break above the 50 moving average, then we are most likely going back towards the very highs of roughly 35,700 or 800. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, very similar. We did drop all the way down towards a Monday for 14,830 give or take, and then we rallied. And uh, we rallied above the 50 moving average, which is a good sign, and we basically got stuck here at the 20 exponential. So break above the 20 exponential and uh, simple moving average, and then we are most likely going back to the very highs. Get rejected here, then 15,000 will mostly be the floor. If that breaks, then you're probably gonna see a lot of selling down to 14,500 and then 200 moving average. But that will also mean that other indices will basically fall apart. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX completely fell off a cliff on Friday and also Monday, head towards the 200 moving average. It's what kind of expected for the US indices, but we did not see that. And then we rallied for the rest of the week until we came to Friday. So this is not a very good sign for the German DAX. We did break the lows here on Thursday. And uh, if we take out this candlestick here yet again, then it will most likely go back towards the very lows and probably the 200 moving average. MACD is still uh, bearish. The stochastic is bullish and the RSI is flat at this point. So yes, does not look like uh, this is going to rally above the 50. Kind of looks like what we see here last week where we hit the... Uh, Simple moving average and then fell apart and now we rallied yet again and then we are going to fall apart yet again. But that is to be seen. So let's look at the UK 
100. So UK 100, very similar to the Nasdaq. It also kind of fell apart on Friday, on the Monday session, and then rallied, and then continued rallying all the way above the 50 moving average, and then got kind of overbought here. So, so um, this is not a very good sign for the uh, UK uh, 100 or the FTSE, as we did break about the 50 moving average and then just comply, completely collapsed on the, underneath the 50 moving average yet again. So if we manage to take out this low here on um, Monday session, then we are most likely going to go back towards the 200 moving average. Break below that, and then this could really fall apart all the way down to the 6,750 and then towards, uh, to the, towards the 300 moving average around at uh, 6,600. So... MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. But a very uh, volatile session and this rejection here is not something I like for this indice at this current stage. So let's look at the China 50. So at least these indices are doing better than the China 50 because um, this has, uh, first of all, created a triple bottom here. And uh, I would not be surprised if this triple bottom basically fell apart. And that could mean that we would drop roughly a thousand points to the downside. So the measure move here, roughly a thousand points, and that would basically mean that we'll drop, uh, give or take 13,500 to, to the downside, roughly around this area here before, before finding, um, finding support. So this market is just getting hammered every single day. There is no good news coming out of China. And uh, as long as that is going to be the case, people are just going to pull their money out of these uh, stocks and indices and so on. And this will just continue falling to the downside. So long-term perspective, probably yes, the uh, Chinese market is uh, investable at this current stage. It is really difficult to invest in a market where it is so uh, that bad news. So uh, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat as well. So hope you found this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.